We begin tonight with the Serious Fraud Office, which today filed criminal charges against four people in relation to electoral donations paid into a National Party bank account. It comes after former National MP Jamie Lee Ross lodged a complaint with police last year. Mr Ross claimed while he was still National's MP for Botany, National Leader Simon Bridges asked him to collect a $100,000 donation from businessman Yi Kun Zhang, which was later split into smaller amounts to hide it. The four defendants who have not been named will appear in court later next month. National leader Simon Bridges declined to be interviewed tonight but has confirmed neither he nor his party has been charged. The SFO says it also won't be commenting until suppression issues have been dealt with. But joining us now is Otago University law expert Andrew Geddes, who has been following this case closely. Good evening, Andrew. How, how unusual is it for these kinds of charges over election donations? <clears throat> uh, it's unprecedented. So it's the first time that uh, any such charges are being filed in New Zealand. Uh, we are assuming, of course, that the Serious Fraud Office charges do relate to how those donations were paid in to the National Party accounts or something along those lines, rather than having discovered some sort of unrelated offending while they were looking into that issue. But assuming that it is to do with how the donations were paid over, it's the first time such charges have been brought in New Zealand. So the National Party was very quick to confirm its leader, Simon Bridges, is not charged and no one from the National Party. Is that surprising? Not particularly, no. Um, I mean, for Simon Bridges to have been personally charged, he'd have had to do something along the lines of explicitly tell the donors, you know, I want you to pay this money to my party in this illegal way. And you know, whatever we may think of politicians generally, <laughs> you, no politician's going to be that stupid to say something that um, outright. And with regards to the National Party itself, the party secretary, who really is the one on which legal liability falls, their obligation is simply to receive donations uh, and then, in essence, bank them and then pass information on to the Electoral Commission. So the party secretary has no duty to go checking that the information he's given about donations is accurate or true or anything along those lines. So once again, the party secretary was entitled to you know, rely on the fact that, you know, I've been told these donations are from these people. I can confirm these people really exist and that's all I need to know. So does this mean that National's in the clear, in essence? Well, I mean, they're legally in the clear because they've had no charges filed against them. So, you know, they can say, look, we complied with the law. The question is really whether mere compliance with the law is sufficient for political parties. Uh, it, it does appear that uh, the reason why these donations were split up was that the you know, National Party uh, didn't really want to have a disclosable donation appear on uh, with the Electoral Commission for the public to see, and then the public ask questions, you know, how come you're getting that money? So one of the questions we might ask of the National Party, and I think more generally about our political parties, is, you know, is this sort of fundraising, you know, morally acceptable, no matter what the law might say about it? So, obviously one of the core issues there being that the larger donations potentially can be split to a size that flies under the radar in terms of what's required to be reported. So what does it tell us about our current rules? Well, I think it shows the current rules uh, don't really work. Um, at the moment, the law says anything above $15,000 to a party must be disclosed to the Electoral Commission. But if you get a group of people together each of whom give under $15,000, and all that money is then bundled together and passed across to the party, you can get a really big donation going into the party, and the public never gets to see who's behind it. So I think what this shows is that you know, when $15,000 was put in as the threshold back in 2010, you know, that was a compromise between Labour and National at that point in time. I think this and sort of uh, events, uh, other events show that $15,000 was just too high. So if we just pull back from this at the moment, big picture, it is election year. Obviously, political donations are going to be a subject of interest again. Is this a warning to parties to get their houses in order? Well, I think it is. Um, you know, it, as Simon Bridges and uh, the National Party have said in their release, look, we haven't been charged, you know, and they're trying to say this has nothing to do with us. You know, we, we're, we're innocent parties here. The question is whether the public's going to look at that and go, yeah, well, hang on, you know, there's going to be people in court charged with offences here 
you took the money, you know, to what extent are, you know, are your hands legally clean, but in you know, some way morally dirty? Um, you know, it, it, it's not, I think, enough for parties simply to say the law is all that is required of us. I do think there ought to be a little bit more in parties to you know, uh, comply with spirit as well as intent. And we're also waiting, obviously, for ongoing scrutiny around the New Zealand First Foundation as well. That's right. So the Electoral Commission is still looking into the New Zealand First Foundation and, you know, what appear to be some uh, odd behaviour and how it receives money and then pays for uh, bills on the political party's behalf. If the Electoral Commission believes that offences have been committed, then the Electoral Commission is required to pass information over to the police and then the police investigate. Appreciate your time this evening. That's Professor Andrew Geddes, who is an Otago University law expert, um, speaking there about the fact that four people have been charged uh, in relation to the SFO investigation into donations paid into a National Party electorate bank account. Those people appear in the Auckland District Court in February.